Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a flower if you don't have the die. You're just going to use a punch. This is a fancy flower punch. I'm punching through two layers at a time. Next, what you're going to do is come in with your scissor and you're going to cut off one petal. Okay, so you've removed the petal. Now you're going to put a glue dot on one of the other petals and you're going to match these up and close it. So that's going to give you this. And then you can certainly play with those flower edges, the petals, to, to bend them out a little bit. And then what we're going to do is distress these petals a little bit because you really don't want them this neat. So we're going to distress them. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to cut two petals off of this one. And we're going to do the same thing where we're going to put a glue dot on the back of this petal and then we're going to come around and we're going to adhere it to itself. And that's going to give us the next inside of the flower. And what, before I put these together, I'm going to take my vintage photo and I'm just going to sponge my edges a little bit. So what I do with this is once I mess it up a little bit, I'm going to sponge over it and then it kind of catches on the creases there. And you can do the same thing to these two petals and then this little petal is going to go on the inside. And then, okay, for this one, you're going to put the glue dot on it and then you're going to just curl it so that it loosely adheres to itself. And again, you're going to just drag those little petals down a little bit. And then you can put a glue dot on the edge here so that it closes up. And then for this one, the tiny one in the middle, you're just going to put this on here and you're going to turn it all the way and then you're going to just cut the bottom off. You're going to stick a glue dot on the bottom of that and that is going to go in the center here. And then you're going to do the same thing on this where you can cut the bottom off a little bit depending upon how high you want that to come out of the top of your flower. You put the glue dot on the bottom. You're going to come into the second one here. Just kind of shove that down in there. And again, you're just bending your petals out a little bit. And this one I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off the bottom because I like my bottoms to be flat. And just do the same thing. We're going to just stick a glue dot and you're going to go to your three petals here. And last but not least, we're going to put a glue dot or two in the center here. And then you're going to smush that down in there. And then what I like to do is just take some glue dots and put them right close to the bottom here because I want these petals to adhere up but I certainly don't want the glue dot showing. So once I get those placed on there I'm going to scrunch these petals in like this. And you can kind of smush this up as much as you need to to get the rose the size that you want it. I mean it's not really uniform so you're just going to come in and you're going to strategically place those glue dots wherever you need to to get those petals to close up enough so that you're happy with them. So it just depends on how little or big you want this to be and you can always bend down and push in. We're going to smush this like this. So I'm kind of pinching it on the bottom like that and then I'm bringing my petals back down and then that's going to look a little more like a rose. Mm -hmm.